Hi, I'm Paul. Um, I'm a pilot and I hate it when I can't find a tutorial or an explanation or something or something that's going wrong. I bought the uh, Surveil Zone HS1177 and it came with this cable to tune the OSD on the camera. It did not work for me because I didn't have the right connectors for it, so I made my own cable to make it work better. That's, that's what this video is about. So this is the camera in question, the HS1177 from Surveil Zone. It's a, another 600 TVL. It comes in the plastic case. I love this camera. I cannot break it. Try as I might. But I couldn't for the longest time figure out how to use the cable to tune it because of this 4-pin connector. So I've made a quick cable to get it to work. So this is the cable that the camera came with. It's got the 4-pin connector here on the back for the uh, that plugs into the camera here. And on the other end it had this um, video cable, which I don't even know what that's for. Somebody could probably tell me what that is, but I do not know. And this 12-volt uh, um, power adapter, which I just don't have the other end for. So. I decided to hook one end up to an XT60 and one end up to uh, um, RCA plug, both of which are pretty normal things in my mind, but that's fine. On the cable that comes with the camera, this is how the pinouts work. You've got your positive power, 12 or 5 to 12 volt, I believe. The camera will support. You can see that it says 5 to 12 volt in there. You've got the negative for that thing, the, the signal power for the RCA and the um, negative for the RCA. RCA plugs are have two cables in them. It's sh it's uh, shielded. It comes with a shield around both of these wires, so you have to cut that shield back without cutting, cutting the inside wires. And then you expose the signal and negative there. So in the end, you're gonna end up with something like this, where you have, <clears throat> I use an XT60, because that's what I use for everything. We've got positive XC60 negative signal negative, and that's how it's going to get wired together. So my finished product ends up looking something like this, to where I've got the XT60 hooked up here and the RCA plugged in. Just wire all that together, and it'll be just fine. Okay, so here I've got my goggles. Currently no signal, because the only thing that's going into that is power. So I'm going to set this guy down. Then I've got my makeshift cable here and my camera. So I'm going to plug my camera in on this end. If I had any dexterity whatsoever. I need this adapter to connect my video. And I use <coughs> male I used a male XT60 and I've got this converter female to female XT60 so that I use some of my uh, male XT60s that I have lying around. I just use this for bench testing. Boop, plug in that camera. So now everything should be powered. If you look right there, you can see that the camera is powered. Hi! <clears throat> and then if I fiddle with the OSD here, we can see now that I can f go through all of the settings on the OSD. I'll put a link in the video description for how to um, tune the camera for best settings, um, but you know that's been done a million times, so we don't need to do that right now. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I put videos out like this or flying videos or whatever you want to see all the time. Just uh, go ahead and check it out. Thanks.